This is Diapasonics. It's my latest musical instrument. Um, it's got capacitive touchpad, um, built-in synthesizer, uh, speakers, and uh, it also serves as a MIDI controller. There's an OLED display and a five-way switch to navigate the user interface. It's based on the fretboard of many common stringed instruments, particularly bass guitars. And this is a major advantage over my previous instruments, which all had um, exotic layouts that required some learning in order to use them. The main chip inside it is a Raspberry Pi Pico 2. The synthesis engine it uses is called AMI, which has hundreds of presets or patches based on the Juno 6 and DX7 classic synthesizers. You can put effects on top of the audio chain. Reverb, filter, chorus, delay echo, and distortion. You can adjust any effect parameters. There are two play modes, and they're both polyphonic. The main one is tapping mode, which allows you to play notes instantly as you touch the frets. With the other one, strumming mode, this last row of frets here is considered open strings, just like chords on a guitar. If you're a lefty or you really want to challenge yourself, you should try left-hand mode, which flips the entire board so that you can play the way a uh, left-handed person will play an instrument that's been set up for them. There's no way I can do this. By default, the tuning is the same as a regular bass guitar, E, A, D, G, but you can change it per string. The capo function transposes the entire fretboard up or down so that you can play in different keys. Diapasonics has MIDI output, which means that you can plug it into a computer and use it as a controller to play virtual instruments, or you can just record the MIDI track of whatever you're playing. I'm releasing everything as an open source project, so you can download the source files or just the binary to flash your Pico 2, and I'm also including construction files so that you can 3D print your enclosure. Overall, this thing is relatively inexpensive to build, as the cost of all the parts is no more than 25 British pounds, but I had to rely on a custom PCB to simplify the wiring. Like all my musical instruments and toys, this is portable and battery powered, and can be recharged via standard USB-C. At the moment, there's no velocity detection. That means that there's no way to tell when a fret has been strummed with uh, more force than another. But most importantly, the ergonomics are a bit off. The um, neck is too chunky, too short. It doesn't have a body, therefore it's hard to strum it without moving the entire thing. But I'm already working on some designs that specifically target these issues. I don't really know uh, how long it will take me to come up with a new iteration, but um, I think it's a promising instrument, so I definitely need to spend some time refining it, playing it, and uh, yeah, seeing where, where I can go with it.